Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Semmerauer. We start off with your top stories, brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. More than 100 people gathered Saturday for the funeral of 16-year-old Angel Naranjo, who died after being hit by a steel cable while riding his minibike. And during the funeral, the boy's father revealed that a Las Vegas police detective informed him that his son's death is now being considered a homicide. The father strongly disagreed with Metro's announcement last week that the boy's death was an accident. During the funeral held at Palm Mortuary, family and friends described Naranjo as a kind person with a good heart. And another funeral took place over the weekend for a woman named Jessica Rosalie Rhodes, who died at the Valley of Fire State Park during a recent heat wave. About 125 people attended the service at the World of Life Christian Center. She was remembered by many as a vibrant person who devoted herself to helping people as a nurse. According to a friend, Rhodes worked with Clark County residents during the pandemic by comforting dying patients. Loved ones also remembered Rhodes for her love of fitness, art, and family. A woman was found dead in her southwest Las Vegas Valley home Sunday. An investigator said police are trying to find the woman's husband, calling him a person of interest in what appeared to be a homicide. Metro also said the woman who was found dead by her teenage daughter appeared to have been shot and that there was a history of domestic violence in the couple's 20 years of marriage. A street vendor who was arrested last week is now facing deportation. The man was released from jail into the custody of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, according to a local advocacy group. Jose Carlos Hernandez Perez was shown on Metro's body cam footage being arrested on August 6th and is facing charges of battery, violation of mobile food vendor regulations, and obstructing a public officer. He is currently waiting on a court date for his immigration status. Henderson became the second Nevada team to reach the Little League World Series on Friday. Henderson defeated Snow Canyon of Utah in the Mountain Region Final. And the team opens play in the World Series at noon Wednesday against Metro Regional Champion Smithfield, Rhode Island. For game details, log on to lvrj.com forward slash sports. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Raiders return home for the first time in 2023 for some preseason action, taking on the San Francisco 49ers, coming out with a big 34-7 victory here at Allegiant Stadium. Rookie QB Aiden O'Connell shined in his NFL debut, leading the Raiders on four scoring drives, finishing 15 of 18 for 141 yards and throwing a touchdown. Definitely some things to work on still, but it was, it was fun to be out there live action and you know bullets are, are really flying it, it was a good first time but there's there's still a long way to go now unfortunately for raider nation the raiders will not return to allegiant stadium until week three when they take on the pittsburgh steelers in their home opener on sunday night football now for your weather report brought to you by star nursery your gardens partner for every blooming thing Sunny and hot is in your forecast for today. Today's highs reaching around 104 degrees with light winds. Tonight, mostly clear skies, lows around 86 degrees. For the rest of the week, slight chances of rain and thunderstorms all week long starting Tuesday night. Partly sunny to partly cloudy skies with daytime highs ranging in the low 100s. More rain chances for your evenings with lows in the mid 80s. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, Bally's gives an update on the planned new baseball stadium for the A's last week. Bally's implied that the process of designing the $1.5 billion stadium is moving along at a rapid pace, but it's on hold pending Major League Baseball's approval of the relocation of the team, and the vote for the relocation may not occur until the end of the year. For details, log on to lvrj.com forward slash business. And crews working on the F1 track are nearing completion of the 3.8-mile circuit. The final layer is being applied to Las Vegas Boulevard through August 18th. And paving will continue on Harmon before ending around the paddock building and sphere. All paving work should wrap up by the beginning of October. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Why not try yoga during the downward dog days of summer? Yoga offers a wide array of options, affordable parks and rec classes, pricey studio sessions, or at a gym where you may already have a membership. Also, try YouTube to help create a home routine and maybe supplementing that by an app on your phone. 
Every year, almost 800,000 people have a stroke, according to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. In other words, strokes are common, and getting care right away can help you avoid permanent stroke-related damage or death. While there are certain signs that might automatically associate with a stroke like facial drooping and arm weakness, there are also some lesser known signs. Log on to LVRJ.com forward slash live well to learn more. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. As the NFL regular season approaches, Station Casinos has odds on which quarterback will have the most regular season passing yards separated into three groups. Patrick Mahomes is the plus 150 favorite in Group A, which also features Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, and Kirk Cousins. Tua Tagovailoa is plus 200 in Group B, ahead of Trevor Lawrence, Jared Goff, and Dak Prescott. And in Group C, Geno Smith is the plus 210 favorite over Matthew Stafford and Derek Carr. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Maroon 5 closed their 2023 series at Dolby Live on Saturday night. We only emphasize the year because Adam Levine and the band are not finished with the strip. The moves like Jagger Rockers have announced they are continuing into 2024 at Park MGM Theater. M5LV, the residency, opened in March. Dates to be announced soon. And ex-cast members of Jersey Boys have been performing around Las Vegas ever since the Jukebox musical closed at Paris Theater in 2016. But we're now hearing Jersey Boys itself is set for a revival in an off-strip hotel. Sources familiar with the show report there are plans to bring a touring version of the Broadway production to Vegas this fall. For more on the insider news, log on to LVRJ.com forward slash entertainment. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal.